Okay, how's it everyone? And thanks for tuning in on this video. Um, today I'm gonna be doing a unboxing and brief review of the Home Soap. Now, if you've never heard of Home Soap, um, it's basically the larger version of Phone Soap. And if you've never heard of that, uh, I got a link I'm gonna put over here to the other video I just shot about the phone soap. And you know, in, in a nutshell, it is a product that utilizes UVC light to bathe your phone or any item that you might have that, uh, that, you know, that you touch and you take outside and you don't wanna have any germs or viruses on there. You just stick it in there, pop it in, push the button, it'll zap it for about 10 minutes. And after that, they say about 99.99% .99 of germs gets killed. Okay, so super handy product. Um, I bought, I first bought the phone soap and I loved it so much and it was so handy because not only did I use it for my cell phone, I used it for credit cards, I used it for like pocket knives, um, remote control, whatever I could fit in there. And I thought, gosh, if they only had a bigger unit so I can stick other things in there like my iPad or my camera, the camera bodies, you know, for my mirrorless camera, lenses, you know, whatever, right? Uh, I thought it'd be super handy. And so they actually made a bigger unit and that's called the Home Soap. Um, so stick around, we'll do that unboxing. I'll give you my opinion about it. I'll, I'll kind of show you, you know, how to use it. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe to this video because I got more content coming on the way. Okay, so let's check it out. And uh, again, thanks for tuning in. So let's open this, this baby up and let's take a look at what we got here. So as you can see, this came in a pretty large box. And so we did a great job packing this. So as you can see, it's nice and secure in here. It's got foam, just like with the phone soap. You know, very simple, very simple um, instructions and documentations comes in here. You know, you just basically uh, tap onto that top button there to switch between automatic and manual. One button, just click and go. In the box here, we've got the uh, charging cable and brick and this is the unit itself okay, so let's get this out here I like the fact that it's very well packed so it's great that they packed it so well So this is what we're looking at. This is the front door. And this is the unit itself. So typically with the phone soap products, uh, when it's on and it's sanitizing, this here turns blue. And then when that turns off, then you know it's done. Usually it takes typically about uh, 10 minutes for your items to get sanitized and for the UV light to kill all the all the germs. Let's see here. Remove before use. And get something extra. So let's take a look inside the unit. Let's open her up. So this is the inner chamber, and as you can see, there's uh, there's two bulbs. There's one on the bottom for the UVC bulbs and one at the top. And the surface on the inside is reflective. It looks like these are bulbs on the sides, but they're not. Um, what I think they are about is, you know, if you put an object in there, I think those those um, three posts, if you will, you know, on each side, I think what that's for is to make sure that it's propping up whatever object's in there. Let's say it's a, it's a folder. 
So when it leans up against it, there's still room between the wall and the object so that light can get through and still um, cover the surface. That's what I think. Okay, now let's see what it looks like um, when we have an object inside. So. You know, sometimes people say, well, you know, you could always use um, like Clorox wipes or alcohol swabs to clean your, your phone or your iPod or, or your iPad. So why would you need you know, to spend money on something like this? Well, so yeah, you can do that. You'd have to uh, wipe it down thoroughly and let it kind of sit there for at least four minutes or so, right? Um, but there's still a chance that not all the surfaces you'd wipe clean. So with this, you're ensured that the whole thing the whole surface, you know, all the way around is being is being covered. Plus, you don't have to get it wet, like for example, if you don't want to put any kind of solution on top of your screens, then this allows for no liquid at all. But you just pop it in, you come home, let's say you put in your glasses, your wallet, your keys, your phone, all together at one time, well, as you're changing your clothes, that 10 minutes are over, you're done. So this is pretty cool. I first bought the the phone soap and I was so happy with that as really a convenient way of, um, of cleaning your device that I found myself putting other things in there and some things you just couldn't fit and now with my son going back to school I know that he's gonna have a bunch of things that we could just throw in here toys or, or, or what have you this will at least allow you to be able to zap something and feel a little bit better that it's been sanitized before you touch it again or take it out or, or use it. Maybe you use, out, you use something outside, but you don't want to use it in the house. I don't know. So anyways, that's what the inside looks like. Pretty good coverage. Looks like you can fit a lot of things in there. Um, to give you a sense of how big it is, like here's, here's a phone, right? And, and for perspective, I mean, you know, that phone, you know, how, how many phones can you fit in here? You can fit a bunch of phones, right? So you take the book, pop it in the home soap. Okay, remote controls. Put that right in there. So I got two remote controls in there. It's myself. One of my favorite uses for the home soap is uh, using it for my cameras. Now, you're not going to be fitting a DSLR in here, right? It's not that big. But you can fit a camera like um, a mirrorless Sony, for example, right? This is my Alpha. And you can stick it in there and uh, you can probably get in a lens in there as well. If uh, you're using these interchangeable, this is an 18 to 200 millimeter lens so as you can see I've got my camera the body in there and extra lens pop it in sanitize that okay now let's say that uh, you've got a mask this is a cloth fabric mask here and let's say that you know it's it's really not that bad as far as uh, it's not like you use it for you know for for a whole day you're sweating and it's it's all gross but you use it a little bit but uh, you know that, look, it's still clean enough and, and good enough to wear again because you just momentarily use it for, for a brief bit. But you want it to make sure that it's clean and, and you're not putting something, you know, that's, uh, that's dirty on your face. Because um, you were breathing in it, right? And, and it, is, it was used enough for you to kind of wonder, well, you know what, uh, should I? Well, you can just put it into the home soap. Zap it for about 10 minutes. You feel a little bit better that uh, you know what you've refreshed it, and uh, you can feel better that look I can pop it back on, use it again, and then throw it in the wash at the end of the day. So there's a lot of different ideas on what you can use the home soap for. Here I've got my um, my iPad. So this is a uh, iPad. I'm gonna stick it right inside here, and this is an iPad with the cover.
Okay, thanks everyone for uh, checking out this video and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. Uh, gave you a little bit more information on how it works and um, you know what if you have if you have um, a home soap or a phone soap or whatever put it in the comments you know below and and, and let me know you know what you, you what you use it for what do you sanitize uh, how do you like it um, these products they're not for everybody right because everyone has a different tolerance for you know or acceptance of, of germs and viruses you know some people are on the extreme where they're more germophobic others are more like ah you know what it's fine you know i give it a quick wipe if they even do that and and, and they're okay with it and you know what whatever floats your boat right but um, if you're looking for that added layer of protection or added layer of making sure that you know the things that you touch all the time and take outside are coming back into your house clean if you're looking for something like that, I highly recommend looking at stuff like the phone soap, the home soap, the home soap, excuse me, or there's like a lot of other units and a lot of companies that came out utilizing the same technology. Go check them out. Um, today, you know, we're living in a crazy world. So whatever you can do to stay safe and keep your family safe too, by all means, go for it. All right, thanks and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.